it's Sunday and I started the day and I was about to eat breakfast and I realized, oh, wait a minute, the hunger challenge starts today. I have to start grocery shopping and only buy $32 worth of groceries. So before I even start my day, before I even eat breakfast, which this might be a problem, going to the grocery store hungry, I had to, instead of going to the grocery store, buy what we need to buy, I brought along a shopping list and for the first time ever, a calculator, just to make sure that I don't go over $32. Um, it's gonna be tough. My husband already told me, listen, there's no way that I could do it. So I'm glad he was honest with me. So it's just me that's going to participate in the hunger challenge. And I don't know. The thing that I'm already going to see that is going to be tough, only allowing myself $32 worth of groceries is eating right, is eating the five servings of fruits and vegetables. I could be wrong, but I mean, apples, apples aren't inexpensive. Um, I definitely can't eat my blueberries because blueberries for a little pint is, what, four bucks? Um, so that would only leave me $28 worth of groceries. Blueberries not worth it, so I'm gonna have to find other fruits and vegetables that I could um, substitute for the antioxidants. But anyways, I'm gonna go in, go shopping, because I'm hungry, and we'll see how I do. That was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. I actually, just got done crying. It had a, and I don't want to cry because I am like the ugliest crier in the world. <laughs> um, it's very humbling, and it just makes you see how important food banks are. I went in there all positive, thinking, okay, walk in there, see that apples are ninety nine cents for a pound. I actually used the scale for the first time ever, grocery shopping to make sure. I could figure out how much I was actually going to buy and spend in apples. It came to 325 because I got a little over three pounds. At the deli, that was the most humbling experience because instead of getting the lunch meat that I wanted, the first question I asked, what's on sale? And I ended up getting um, 14 ounces, which is about three fourths of a pound. And it was on sale, but still it was expensive. It's it's tough. I was able to get a bag of chips on sale for I think it was a buck ninety nine. That'll last me all week. And I started to get canned soup and I rang up the soup that I normally get, which was on sale two for five bucks. I couldn't get it. If I wanted it to eat that for dinner Monday through Friday, I couldn't afford it. So I actually ended up getting the generic no name brand that was on sale. I got eight of them for I think it was, I don't know, five bucks, something like that. Was able to get some milk and bread. Bread actually took me over $32. Um, I ended up spending $33.87. I wasn't able to buy snacks. I mean, I'm so, I'm such, I have such a sweet tooth. I always eat a dessert every day, whether it's after dinner, I couldn't get a 100 calorie pack, couldn't do it. Even though they were on sale, I couldn't afford it. And the the thing that really bothered me is tea. Every night, my husband makes me tea after dinner. And we drink tea watching TV. I can't cry, I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> um, I couldn't even buy tea. It is the most humbling experience that I think I have taken for granted. I think a lot of people take going to the grocery store for granted. There are families who can't go in there and not have a strict list or their calculator adding everything up. Now more than ever, I really see how important food banks are where they could get the staples they could get the peanut butter and the cereal and buy things like snacks for the kids lunches or buy tea so they can enjoy it and relax with it every night I didn't even get coffee or creamer that's another thing because <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my milk and I'm gonna be drinking a lot of free work coffee 
Can't even make coffee at home anymore. Oh, that's tough. And I haven't even started eating the soup and sandwich diet. I guess the only good thing is, is that it's such a strict diet that I might actually lose that five pounds that I put on at Thanksgiving. <laughs> that might be the only perk to it. <laughs>